let's name this triangle, okay, A, B, C. Now, opposite angle A, okay, is lowercase a, okay? Opposite of angle C, okay, lowercase c. And opposite of angle B is um, lowercase b. All right? So now, I'm going to use some cosine rule, write out this cosine rule for you, and then we're going to apply all these formulas, okay? So now, the rule is this, okay? I just clear one of these, so I, I'm look, focus on angle C. Okay, let's say from focus on angle C. So opposite of angle C, of course, is C. Now, the rule is this, okay? C square, C square is equal to A square plus side B square minus 2 times A times B and cos of the opposite of C, which is cos angle C. There you go, okay? That is cosine rule. Now, this is to help you to find the side length, okay, any side length, all right? Now, let's say if I rearrange this, let's say I clear this first. Now, let's say if I move this side here, let's say this term, let me highlight it. So this term here, if I move this term, okay, going back to this, okay, and then C, okay, I move back, I move to the right, all right, now, so therefore, minus 2AB cos C, you move to the left, it become positive, so which is 2AB cos C is equal to A squared plus B squared. Minus, because the C, you move on the right, it become positive, move over, become negative. So become minus I, minus C squared. Then what happened? Okay, I want to get rid of 2AB, because I want to find the cos C. So if I divide by both sides by 2AB, if I divide by both sides by 2AB, AB, Okay, so this is cancel out. So therefore, okay, cos of angle C is equal to A square plus B square minus C square all over to AB. Okay. Now, to find angles, this is this equation here. This is called secondary equation. Okay, so because the primary is, is the top one. So this one to help you to find the angles, okay? So cos C equal A square plus B square minus C square over 2AB. Now I just write out the formulas in this corner here, okay? So find the side length, so that means C square is equal to A square plus B square minus 2AB cos of C, okay? And then to find the angles, Okay, or find any angle, so you go cos of C is equal to A square plus B square minus C square all over 2AB. Okay, so this is the formula. Cos, this is to help you to find the sign, the, the side length. And then um, this one is for finding the angle. Okay, so that's what it is. Now. The question is this, how do I find, how do I know when to use cosine rule, okay? Now remember, um, I'll just recap on a right here, draw a triangle. Now to use side rule, you got one angle here, another angle, anywhere, okay? Let's say this is 24 degrees and a theta, you use side rule. Or um, 60 degrees, 40 degrees, or 80 degrees, who cares? You got two, two angles like this. You use side rule. Now, for cos rule, okay, is only one angle, okay. If you have only one angle, a non triangle triangle. So this is, let's say, forty degrees. You use cos rule, okay. Or this is count as one angle, theta, a non angle. So count as this. So if it triangle like this, one angle is given, okay. You use cos cosine rule. Two angles, 
you side rule. Simple as that. Triangle, triangle, you so katoa. Very simple. Again, if you stress out, um, the still thing you can't remember, doesn't matter. You use side rule, doesn't work, you can use cos rule. It, it will work. Okay, so not to worry. All right. Let's do some um, examples, okay? Let's see. Let's see how we go. Let's say this one here, okay? So let's say find the value of x, okay? Correct to um, one decimal place. So you know that it's only one angle given, you see? And it's non triangle triangle. Got no choice. Only you cosine rule. Now, then I know, how do I know which one is A, which one is angle A, angle B, or side A, side or, or side length B? It doesn't matter. Again, all you need to do is identify the angle and the opposite side. Okay, so this one, this angle given, opposite this is x. Now remember the side length, the rule, c square equal a square plus b square minus 2ab cos of c. Okay, that's the rule. Then opposite always. Okay, so look, c and opposite angle c. So it doesn't matter, okay, which one A, B, C, as long as you identify the opposite angle and the side length, and you can apply. So I do um, X squared is equal to, and then how do I know 21 is A or 20 a, um, or 18 is A? It doesn't matter, okay? A, uh, 2 squared plus 3 squared is same as 3 squared plus 2 squared, so it doesn't matter, again. So all you need to do, X squared is equal to 21 squared plus 18 square minus okay two time two of these 21 and time 18 cos of i run off space here i just write here 56 degrees and three minutes now i just type this in the calculator okay so um what i do i just go 21 square okay plus 18 square minus 2 times um, 21 and 18 18 and 21 and then cos of 56 degrees and you press a bubble and then um, 3 minutes now 3 minutes you must press a bubble again okay or DMS if you like okay otherwise it won't work so you have to close bracket as well and then equal see so what that means is x square which is equal to okay 342.797 and so on okay so opposite of x because this is x square so therefore x must be equal square root of 342 okay so therefore x is equal to I just put that in a calculator so you can see I got the answer on a screen so what it does is always store this mem this uh, the last digit on answer so what I do I just press press the square root button and instead of type 342 I just press the answer okay so please do not type 342 because we want to ex um, as a accurate as possible so you use all these numbers okay so it's doing a an answer for you already so equal 18.514 and so on so because it's correct to one decimal place so the answer is 18.5 because the one after five is one less than five so the answer is 18.5 okay so 18.5 and don't forget the units Okay, so that's what it is. Now, this question is to find angle theta. Okay, this angle here, okay, is um, correct to a um, minute. So what we have here is just one angle. This is count as one angle. Okay, so we use cosine rule. So opposite of this angle is 28.8. So remember, you find angle. So the rule is cos of C okay equal a square plus b square minus c square all over 2ab again c it is opposite angle theta okay they're always opposite each other of course right so then a and b i don't care which one is a or b it's the same thing a plus b same as b plus a so it doesn't worry a bit at all 
So now I just go cos theta. Okay, cos theta is equal to 45.7 square plus, okay, I might run off space. I need to just move this on this side a bit. Okay, plus 20, uh, 65.8, okay, square minus 28.8, okay, I just move this on this side so I have more space, so 28.8, all over, this is square of course, 2 times, okay, 45.7 times by 65.8. All I need to worry about is this, okay? Theta is always opposite of the side length, so which is 28. So you know that is theta here, always minus 28.8 square. So 45, doesn't matter which one go first. Over to AB, so which is AB is this length. So that's why 2 over this. Just remember that for me, okay? After practice and you you just know it okay it's not that hard it's just the process you need to follow okay now I'm gonna put that in a calculator now after I put all this on a calculator okay this is what I get okay so now cos theta I I just write here cos theta is equal to 0 0.929 so now, therefore, theta equal, because I'm looking for theta, of opposite cos is cos inverse, of course. Okay, 0 0.929. Okay, you know that. I'm not going to put this um, three number in, because I want to get the answer as close as possible. Okay, that's what happened in the test. Okay, make sure you store that in memory. So this is what I get. All I need to do, I go shift cos, because I want to inverse cos, see? And I press answer. Okay, it's always store the last uh, number on the on your calculator so which is equal to 21.68 degrees but because the question asks for near rounded to nearest minute so I press DMS okay if your calculator is not not this type of calculator not case or some some other calculator may have um, DMS degree minute second okay this one you just press this one here otherwise you press DMS so that give me okay 21 degree 40 minutes and 48 seconds because the 48 second is closer to minutes so which is 21 degree 41 21 degrees and 41 minutes just double check with you yeah there you go 21 degrees 41 minutes now let's move to um last question okay last one thank you so much for watching my videos okay last one almost there now if you look at this, okay, this is some um, non rangle triangle as well, and then only one angle given, so only this. So therefore, we have to use cosine rule. Now, opposite of this angle is 15.8, okay, so that's all you need to worry about. And you know that the rule is, okay, I just write here, um, cos of C equal A square plus B square minus C square all over to AB. See? Simple. Now what I do, okay, I know that this, this is C, angle C, theta is angle C, opposite angle is so the side C is 15.8. Just that's all you need to worry about. So now I write cos theta is equal to is equal to uh, 19.8 square plus 34 square minus 15.8 square all over 2 times 34 times 19.8 okay so that means I write it down first equal now I will put that exactly in the calculator and my answer is there you go okay 34 square plus 19 square minus 15.8 square all over 12 times 34 times 19.8 so i get 0 0.964 okay 0 0.964 okay so now therefore okay the theta because i'm looking for theta cos inverse of 0 0.964 equal 
Now just bring it up, I'll show you. So this is what I get. So remember, okay, I just do not type 0 0.964. I use the whole lot of these numbers. So what I do, I go inverse cost. See, answer. Close bracket, equal to C. Now you know that the end the question didn't ask for how many degrees or minutes, whatever. So best to round to near minutes, nearest to minutes because it's more accurate. That's all. So just press a bubble button. So 15 degrees, 20 minutes, and 42.9 seconds. So because it's 42 seconds, it's close to a minute. So which is 15 degrees, 21 minutes. Okay. So write it down first. 15 degrees and 21 minutes. So therefore, theta equals this. You see? Thank you so much for watching my videos.